What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to be going over the best run and pass defense in the NCAA 25 post patch. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. Y'all been killing that like button. Every time that I see that I go over 30 likes, that's when I release another video. Also, the ebooks and the Patreon is down below. If you want to be better at NCAA 25 overnight, make sure that you get the ebook or become a Patreon member. Now, right here, we're going to be using cover four palms. Any formation, make sure that it has cover four palms cover six and cover nine okay those are key match principles in ncaa and madden 25 so how are we going to set this up now when you go to coach adjustments i have auto flip on and then i also have option defense pitch key aggressive this is post patch i want to come down and hit stick the quarterback by myself okay as far as zone drops i don't have no zone drops on but if you want to have zone drops on you can always reset play and that will turn you back into match we will get into that into another video if there's anything that you guys need help on i had a comment about run defense we're going to go over that in this video So, three people to this side, running back on the opposite side, and we're going to put O into a blue, that'll be YY, triangle, triangle, go to O, put him into a soft squat. Now, we're going to put a deep half over the top of him, okay? So, now, we're going to run commit, you can do anything with your line. I'm going to make sure that that zone is taken care of, now you can go ahead and put him into a uh, uh, deep half on the other side if you want to okay so only thing you worried about is anything coming underneath coming into this area okay so we on the back side i'm helping with the run by coming down like this here we go boom i'm trailing trailing come in there and i'm blowing it up i'm looking for a big hit a fumble it don't matter the formation okay so here we go right here we're gonna go run commit this time the running back is on this side so this is the strong side go ahead put him into we have our blue out there we have our uh deep half over the top always move people out i always tell you guys that if you want that zone to get that faster do it we're gonna run commit we can even go like this to make sure that we let him know we're gonna stop the run to that side and i will play right here and i want to see which one of these guys move and i'm gonna either come down over here or straight through this gap okay so if it's a run i'm coming i'm looking at how the blocks are moving i'm coming through that gap force them to the outside great run defense now how does that translate to the pass we're going to go over how that translates to the pass cover four palms and i'm in the cover three shell so i always want that safety to drop down into the box give them that one high look now how does that translate to the pass so we're going to come out and we're just going to do random passes Okay, so now we're going to use the run commit with a pass. So, running back is on this side. This is the strength of the formation. So, we're going to come. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to man X up, man O up. I'm going to move him out. Okay, you can even go here manually, put him into a hard flat. In case the running back goes out, he's going to be a hard flat. Okay, so we're going to do anything with the D line is very easy. Well, y, Y, triangle, triangle, man up the tight end. Y, Y, triangle, triangle, man up that guy. And then D pad twice, put him into a hard flat. It's all set up super fast. Just practice it. Now, another thing I'm going to do, since there's two threats right here, I'm going to drop this guy, L1, into a middle third. Okay, I want him to be there in case a post or something come. And we're going to make it seem like we're looking for the run. Here come the pass. We're going to come down boom great pressure and we have them people initially coming down for like a bluff blitz so that's going to help with your pass rush and everything so remember them two people manned up so he's running to his responsibility he's watching his responsibility all right so if they're in a passing situation you don't have to run commit so the strength is on this side but guess what we're gonna man that side up blue that side 
and then put this guy, your user, into a deep blue. What does that mean? That means we have five yards right here, manned up over there, five yards right here, 20 yards right here in a deep half. So now, once they hike the ball, I'm going to start switch sticking. I'm going to start switch sticking. If I see that the flow is coming this way, I'm going to switch stick on this side. The flow is coming this way, I'm going to switch stick on this side. Okay? So we're going to come down, make it seem like we're looking to stop the run, all that. And once they hike the ball, switch stick up. I got the deep rope back here. And as you can see, everything is locked down. Super simple. Just practice it. I started with the middle blue. And once I switch off of him, the middle blue stays in the middle of the field. And we got good blocks yet. Middle blue, five yard purple right there. Sits around that route. We have the 20 yard blue over here. We have the deep half. I switch stick to the deep half for anything deep. We have these people manned up. Perfect defense. Five yard, manned up, manned up, switch stick. So we go to slight delay. Okay, so now we're going to set it up. I like to always do. So we're going to shade in, we're going to shade outside, but we're going to do this guy, the X, and we're going to do him on the outside. Okay, so we're going to put our deep half set up right there, shift the line. Now I'm going to switch stick. We have them manned up. I'm going to switch stick and leave this yellow zone. No, I'm going to put a deep blue and I'm going to switch stick right here. So I'm going to push at that angle on the right stick. So when he hikes the ball, push at that angle, get to the top, come down, switch stick to all these people, make it hard for the QB to find the read. Okay, we're going to do that again. Every time I see a look like this, boom, we all set up. Shift, put him on that, and then we're just using switch stick. Look at that. I'm switch sticking. I'm underneath this corner route. Click on interception. And that's how you use perfect defense with the switch stick and get a chance for a pick six. So I was switch sticking through people. I got it on slight. But you're going to see I was going. I started off with him. Switch stick. Switch stick to the corner. Okay. So it's kind of baiting him. Switch stick through him. He goes to the deep zone. Switch stick to the corner. Click on interception. I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to help with that route over there. So once they hike the ball, purple. I'm coming, watching these corner routes, underneath routes. Boom, I switch stick right to them. All right, they're giving us that look like that again. You can see this is a uh, popular type of defense. So, I mean a popular type of offense. So we're going to come right here. We're going to work our way. Switch stick. Let's see what he's doing. Come down here to the running back. Take this route. Cover sick. Ah, I mean, they could have got him in the safety, but as you can see, I switched it to like you looking and out your peripherals, you can see. So I'm user in that person. Okay, I see the running back going out. I'm switch sticking. Now look, I didn't took the running back route and I'm underneath the other route. It should have been a covered sack. Perfect defense. So I'm coming. Five yards, dropping, manned up, switch stick. I could take both of them routes. Perfect defense post patch.